Hey guys, how's it going? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs. The next figure I want to look at today is the Hydra Soldier. He's getting pretty popular due to the Captain America movie. A lot of people are army building these guys even more now than they were before, so I thought it would be a good idea to finally review him. This is the regular version. There is a version with the mouth that's open. It looks really goofy to me, so I never got one, and I'm not going to bother getting one. This is the regular one. I suggest you get this one, but either way, it's up to you. Um, it's an okay figure overall but there are definitely a few problems and we will address those as we get to them. The head sculpt is pretty good on this one. Um, not not too detailed or intricate but what's there does look good. As far as the motion for the head pretty good range of motion up and down and then obviously the side to sides there. Paint works okay. The eyes are a little sloppy. They're kind of bleeding through. Same thing for the face. The skin part you can see some green coming through. He does have that yellow H back there, which is pretty sloppy, but it's still there, so that's nice. The yellow paint, as is common for a lot of figures, is getting some green bleeding. Almost anywhere there's yellow paint, you can see green coming through. So it's not the best. The belt is part of the skirt thing. It's all sculpted together, so it's kind of ugly looking, kind of cheap looking. The holster here is useless. It's just a solid hunk. I mean, it's hollow inside, but doesn't open or anything and the paintwork the gold paintwork on here is sloppy and there's no silver or anything for the buckles so overall the paintwork's pretty sloppy everything's molded in this green plastic so all the green parts the dark green are okay uh, he does come with two guns this uh, kind of a uh, I don't even know what this is uh, the name is eluding me right now but it has a little Hydra logo on there so that's nice that's actually sculpted pretty well is it on the handle too? It is on the handle, on the grip. I don't know how well you can see that since it's all black, but it is there on both sides. Otherwise there's no paint, it's just solid cast or molded plastic. This thing is solid molded plastic. This gun, it does have the same grip as the other one, so the Hydra logo is on there. But that's all the detail you're going to get. He holds them okay. He has solid molded hands, so they, as long as you kind of wedge his finger in there, his index finger, his trigger finger. They will stay in his hands well enough. This one especially because the hands open a little bit more. So make sure you get that finger in the trigger guard and he'll hold it okay. Um, we'll get those out of there for now though. He has ball jointed shoulders as you would expect. No bicep swivel though up here. The swivel comes down here which is my least favorite kind. I really don't care for that. And it does have an elbow hinge but it doesn't. that's as far as it goes. Not even 45 degrees really so not the best. He has a wrist twist in his glove there. It's pretty well hidden. And the silver is actually painted pretty well on there. But that's about it. It is a nice sculpt though for the glove. I like the wrinkles. Same thing on both hands. Same articulation on both sides. He has an ab crunch, which gets him a pretty good range of motion, all pretty far down forward. But it's not sculpted well in the back. It's just a big flat chunk missing. And he kind of goes back, but just a tiniest little bit from the uh, actually that's probably where you're going to keep him so yeah it doesn't go back too much this is a softer material for the skirt thing I know it's not really a skirt but oh geez I'm about to sneeze ah, okay I think I've gotten it to subside anyway here are his pants he has a seam on this side and nowhere else so that's kind of weird unless that's supposed to be that's the side, and this side, this seems a lot fainter here, so it's kind of a weird thing. But yeah, so the seam goes on the side. Um, it has the Y-jointed hips in there. You can't really see it, but they are, in, it is like that in there. And the thigh swivel is built in. Now this knee joint is horrible. This is the biggest detraction from this figure, I think. It bends down here, so it looks okay from the side. It looks okay, I guess, from the front, but it just, it looks way too disjointed. I would much rather have a double jointed knee, or at least a standard type of single jointed knee. They did this so that they could put the swivel in there, but it just looks bad. I don't care for it. I don't know, maybe I'm being too picky, but it just, I don't know, it just, they don't look right, so whatever, you guys decide for yourself. They did paint the silver buckles on here, on the boots, and they did a really good job on it. So I'm really happy about that. The ankle has decent articulation. It does have a rocker. 
it's really stiff, but they do have a rocker in there and no other articulation in the foot. But you can still get, due to the ankle rocker and the good ankle articulation, you can get a decent enough pose with this guy if you really wanted to. And um, it's definitely a nice addition to the collection, especially if you're going to army build. He's one of the better army builders. The shield agents are probably the best, I think. I don't care too much for the hand ninja figures. But this guy is definitely a good one. So if you can get one for not too much, or get a bunch for not too much, you should probably go ahead and do that because they're cool figures. And uh, they display well. They've got this uh, nice color scheme, nice palette. And they look good. So there he is, guys. There's a Hydra Soldier. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more reviews. And in the meantime, keep collecting.